Melody was 19 and had applied for admission to the California Culinary Academy. She wanted to learn how to cook so she could open her own restaurant, like her father before her. But now, her mother was on the phone with the school's admissions office. Despite that rejection, in 2011, Melody and her husband Russ set out to open their own restaurant in San Francisco. They would make delicious food while providing the types of opportunities for deaf professionals that both Melody and Russ had been denied. But from raising the money she needed to get started to surviving a slowdown in sales, Melody would face a crush of challenges as a first-time restaurateur. You just started your dream business. How much profit will you need to pay your basic living expenses, like rent and ramen? This is a show about the economics of entrepreneurship and founders turning their dreams into reality. This is Ramen Profitable. But Melody's husband, Russ, a cautious, business-minded person, he, well... Despite that risk, Melody and Russ decided to start a fully deaf-owned and operated restaurant together. They would serve authentic Neapolitan-style pizza. But first, Melody needed to learn how to make it. Melody was ready. With her business plan in hand, she went to her regular bank in search of a small business loan to start her restaurant. Entrepreneurs often have two ways to raise money. They can get a loan or they can give away equity, an ownership stake in the business. Melody couldn't get a bank loan, so she would try the equity route. Melody invited friends to come to her home so she could pitch them on her business. But first, With pizza tasted, Melody had their attention. She made her pitch. Her guests didn't want to make an equity investment, but they were interested in helping. Melody got the loan she needed. She had five years to make a profit and pay it back.
But then, the honeymoon period ended as competition from new restaurants lured customers away. To keep her doors open, Melody needed to bring in more revenue, fast. But with declining sales at the restaurant, Melody had to get creative. Yeah, she took on a wedding for her first catering experiment. That's bold. Catering suddenly seemed like a viable additional revenue stream, but to capture the opportunity, they needed a bigger oven. They found one in a food truck modeled after the iconic San Francisco cable car. Yup, Florida. So Russ and Melody drove it cross country themselves and made a dope road trip out of it. The brick-and-mortar restaurant supported the catering operation, whose revenues in turn supported the restaurant. After seven years of successfully running their business, the changing circumstances of Melody's life made it necessary for her to leave the restaurant behind. She was disappointed, but sold the restaurant and catering business to a nonprofit that supports deaf professionals. And those loans? She paid them all off. But Melody hasn't given up on entrepreneurship, nor working with family. So this is our San Francisco collection. We have them in two colors. San Francisco is known for being cloudy and foggy, so we decided to go with fog gray. What are the bags made out of? Post-consumer material. Okay, cool, because we are a sustainable clothing company, so we're definitely interested in using recycled materials. Melody and Tasha's sustainable fashion company is facing challenges, like all businesses do, but they find meaning in building something that's theirs. Love pizza. <laughs> Do you have to play? I wish every shoot go. was like this. 